Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. Now when we left off we were actually in our first hideout infiltration and uh, well it went right down to the wire did it not? Yes it certainly did. And that's usually how it goes in my series. Usually what will happen is I'm about to accomplish something, I'm trying to do some kind of goal. I actually almost pushed my mouse off my desk, that was great. Anyway, <laughs> yeah don't just, just don't, don't uh, you know, don't don't listen to that. Anyway, point is, usually I'm, at, I'm about to achieve a goal or something. I'm just about to die, just about to die. And then all of a sudden I'm, I'm just okay. And I managed to pull off some crazy, crazy victory just by the skin of my teeth. Now, obviously that's not how it always goes because you've seen that yourself. You know, you've seen that in this series so far. Sometimes it goes completely the opposite direction where I am not even close to not even close to victory and indeed I just end up getting murdered in every single way. So that's also something to take into account. Anyway, let's have a look here. Okay, so this Southern Militia Mace, we can actually smelt that down now. And uh, apparently someone told me actually that there is stamina in regards to smithing. As you can see, it uses, I think it uses 10 per time. And you can see here, oh, wait a minute, look at that. You can actually select your companions as well. I did not know that, but that's actually really cool. So you, if you do have a companion with smithing skill, then you can get them to come in here and then you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. That actually looks pretty nice. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I'm gonna try and refine some charcoal here. And, uh, oh, that uses different, oh, okay. So they each use, oh, okay, so they use different energy. It uses different stamina costs. But I want to try and level up my uh, smithing as much as possible. So I'm going to continue to do this. And uh, there we go. Smithing 21. Nice, nice. Okay, continue. Thank you. Very good. I'm actually running out of charcoal now, so I need to do a little bit of that. There we go. And that is it. I have 18 stamina remaining, but I have no more resources apart from iron. I actually have iron. So this iron is going to, of course, be used to potentially sell it. So let's actually see. Uh, do I have a trade rumor about this? No, I have no trade rumor about it. Uh, okay, well, that's that's kind of unfortunate, but we are going to be able to sell this for 75 per one, which I think is actually pretty good. So I'm just going to sell it all. 657. Why not? Seems pretty good to me. Uh, let's get a step horse and a couple of sumter horses. Why not? Let's get a whole bunch. Let's get a whole bunch of those things. Try and run around extremely fast. And is there anything else that I want to get here? Two-handed cleaver. Oh, if I was good at blocking, I'd, I'd definitely take a two-handed of some kind. I think it would be super fun. But uh, yeah, as I'm not, <laughs> then no, I won't do that. For the moment yeah i can't wait to use these new throne weapons in combat actually because uh, i think i actually would love to i think that would be super fun and uh, we do have some sheep here as well is this food actually didn't someone say actually that there that you can buy food and these sheep actually are used as food for a, a little bit maybe maybe that is actually the case there is actually a tournament going on here do you want to watch me do another tournament that could potentially result in failure Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to see how it goes. But look, Humphrey, look at this. You can actually get a Humphrey, a camel called Humphrey. How can we say no? How can we say no to that? Okay, well, I'm not going to bet anything because I personally feel like I'm going to die very, very fast. But I'm going to try it nevertheless and we'll see. Maybe I can, maybe I can do something. Yes. Yes, floaty. There we go. Kill him. Float like a butterfly. Sting like, well, nothing because I'm pretty awful. All right, let's do this. Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. Did you see that? Okay, I actually did not realize. But did you did you notice that? Oh, wow. He's not he's not very pleased with me. This guy is not very pleased at all. I can outrange you a little bit with my with my sword. Kill him. Kill him, kill him, friends. I mean, enemies that will uh, be friends right now because we just killed an Imperial Elite. That's actually very nice. But uh, I don't know whether you noticed what happened with that arrow. 
It actually made it hit my shield. Ah, oh, I was just about to kill that last enemy. Oh, well, never mind. I actually wonder whether I'm going to be uh, through to the next round anyway. Yes, I am through to the next round anyway, because I was able to kill quite a few enemies in that. But anyway, to finish my thought, finally, you see that arrow that that guy was shooting at me? I didn't have my block button pressed, but yet the shield still blocked the arrow. That is unheard of, at least for me, in Warband. Usually, if I were to do that, the arrow would just pass through the shield because you're not holding the block button. If you're not holding the block button, then technically the game treats it as though you don't have a shield. At least that is what I have seen over the years. Anyway, point is, we have some rather wonderful and very difficult enemies ahead of us. Oh, I actually have a horse. This is fantastic. Having a horse is great. I actually have some uh, throwing weapons as well. Oh, so sorry, Kiroslava. I'm so sorry. I really did not not want to take you out, but uh, you are an opponent here, so I suppose it is to be expected. But uh, let's see if I can take out this guy. Oh, nice. A little bit of extra damage right there, too. Okay. I am doing all right, <laughs> surprisingly. Yeah. Yes, try and, try and do some damage to this guy. Unfortunately, I did damage to a horse. Which is not exactly great. Oh, took him down. Took him down. Nice. Oh, there's the... <laughs> what is going on here? It seems like Barney has been possessed by the spirit of a good fighter. Who would have expected that? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, my. All right, let's see if I can do something. Ah, oh, that was a little bit slow on my part. Oh, a nice little bit of damage to the horse, but nothing, uh, nothing too good. Don't really want to kill the horse, if if I'm honest. I, I would much prefer to just eliminate the rider. Chamber blocked. Oh, that's not very nice of you. I do have thrown weapons still, so I will try and make the most of them. Ugh, yes, okay. It seems like he's running away. He knows. He knows that we have his number. And I will be calling it right now. <laughs> oh, but it's Pelasaur. Pelasaur. I'm so sorry, Pelasaur. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to actually use a spear on a mount. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is quite fun. Okay, so should I actually bet something now? You know that as soon as I bet, I'm going to lose. And look at the wager. It's really, really terrible. So I'm actually not going to do that. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm going to... Oh yeah, by the way, I've already tried in a previous tournament. You can't command your units in tournaments. So that is a bit worrying. Oh, come on. Help, help my guy. Help my guy out. Oh no. Oh my. That guy is so incredibly well armored. Oh no. There's two of them. Uh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. See, now here's the thing I made a big error in that particular tournament. You know what the error was? I'm just going to skip the round and see who wins. Yeah, the, obviously the Berserker, of course. Yeah, I could not do any damage to that Berserker, by the way. It was literally very, very difficult to do that. I think for the most part I was hitting him not with my blade, but with the handle of my sword, which was making everything much, much more difficult than it had to be. But, oh well. I think we had some good moments in that particular, in that particular tournament, so I'm pretty happy with how it went out. Um, how it went down, shall we say. So... I guess that's all right, but otherwise I'm thinking we're probably going to walk through Kuzate Karnate territory. We're not really going to do much here, I don't think, not unless there's a couple of tasks or something that we can do. And uh, I'm definitely not going to be joining them because they are horse archers and I am, <laughs> you know me, I'm pretty, uh, I don't like the horse archers. Rival gang moving in. Huh, okay, sure, let's do something about the rival gang then, if we can. All right. Hello there. Uh, ask around about me. Yes, of course, I know. Okay, so what, what do you have? I've got a problem, and her name is Isna Sauerwein. Her people have been coming around outside the walls, robbing the dice players and the drinkers enjoying themselves under our protection. Me and my boys are eager to teach them a lesson, but I figure some extra muscle wouldn't hurt. Uh, what do you exactly do you want me to do? We are preparing for an attack, but we need some time to gather our men. Meet me here in Razi uh, after three days, and we'll strike them together. Any other way? <laughs> I'm busy, but I will leave a companion and some men. Okay. 
I will do that. Kiroslava, you're up. Okay, so uh, according to someone in the comments, um, this actually does uh, make a difference. The amount of people that you uh, that you send. And I'm not talking about the amount, I'm talking about the quality of people that you send. So that actually does make a difference. So I guess I'm just going to be sending some of my best guys. Uh, we'll send a Batanian, a Vlandian, Azurai, a couple of those guys, they're ready. And uh, we'll, maybe we should send some recruits as well, perhaps. And oh, the peasants. I guess we'll send the peasants and some Vlandian recruits and so on and so forth, just to make sure that we might do okay and our troops are resolving the issue. I don't exactly know how much we're going to get paid for this. I didn't even see, <laughs> so it might be, it might be pretty awful. What about the horse trader? Army of poachers. Okay, so according to the update notes that uh, the game has just been updated with, you are able to now do the Army of Poachers quest without having any issues. But I am a bit worried about doing it personally. Uh, so I'm probably going to stay away from it for the moment. Oh, escort a merchant caravan. I might be able to do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. I own a brewery here. I know your name. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Things have gotten a lot worse recently on the roads around town. My caravans got looted as soon as they're out of the gates. Ah, oh, okay. I'm looking for some good fighters who can escort it until it finds its footing and visits a couple of settlements. How much do you want to pay me? I don't know. Generously, for each day the caravan is on the road. For that price, I'll escort the caravan myself. But she didn't actually mention any price. Did you see that? She didn't even mention any price. Okay. Your relation has increased. Okay. Well... Kiroslava, what are you doing here? Aren't you on a mission? Okay. Apparently she's not. Apparently she's just in two places at one time. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine with me. Guess I will recruit a couple of extra... Okay, I will recruit one person. By the looks of things. Does anyone want to level up, by the way? Uh, this guy can level up into a skirmisher, I suppose. All right. And where is the caravan? Ah, there it is. Okay, so that's the caravan. Can I right-click on this to... No, I can't right-click on this to accompany it. There is no more accompany option. Because in Warband, what you could do is you could right-click on an entity in uh, in the game world. So, uh, you know, a lord or something like that. And you could click accompany. And that would basically make you automatically follow that person. And that would be a uh, very, very worthwhile option to have because then you wouldn't have to do anything so it would be a lot easier okay so i'm gonna buy a little bit of everything so buy some fish and so on and now let's see where where they decide to go okay so far things are not going badly there is a band of 25 looters over there but they are not bothering with us whatsoever, so pretty happy about that. I have a feeling that, uh, obviously because this is an escort mission, pretty sure we are going to be beset upon by a relatively large opponent, whatever it may be. But uh, we're, we're doing pretty well in general. How's my morale doing, by the way? My morale is 60. Is that good? don't think so, because if we actually go to my character screen right now, uh, what do I actually need? Uh, maintain high morale, but what does high morale mean? Does that mean 59? <laughs> no, I don't think it does. It probably means 80 or above or something like that, but I currently have 59 because, well, I apparently haven't been doing such a good job. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Let's, uh, let's just speed things up a little bit here. Got to be a bit careful as well. I, I personally find it much more difficult to use the uh, time uh, time controls instead of space. I personally found using space and control space to be much easier than using two and three. But that is maybe just my my personal uh, my personal preference. But obviously that's just because I've been playing Warband for so long. You know that's just. It's just a natural thing for me now, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get used to this, just like I've gotten used to horse combat a little bit better now in Bannerlord 2. Okay, so where are they going? They're going here, apparently. Oh, these guys might, uh, might attack? No? 
So I'm supposed to be paid every single day for escorting this caravan, and I have to escort it for three days, which is actually quite... Ah. What? 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What is actually going on here? Are you serious? There's actually 49 troops? Wow. Okay. This is, uh, this is a big deal. This is a very, very big deal. I actually wonder how much money I'm going to make. Okay, so we only need to visit two settlements, and we've already done one. I'm worried about this. Okay, we're going to help. We are going to help. We have 61 against the enemy's 49, but this is actually a really large battle. This is actually the largest battle that we've done. I think someone actually did say to me what my battle size is on. My battle size is currently on a thousand, because that is the maximum that you can uh, currently play with. And uh, I could I could put it on lower, obviously, because we're not currently doing battles that are that intensive. But I think that if I were to do battles that are going to be more intensive, then I would probably reduce my battle size a little bit and probably turn off cloth simulation as well, because my cloth simulation setting is currently on. And that is a huge FPS hog. Just bear that in mind. That is a huge FPS hog. What? I am taking so much damage. Are you serious right now? Let's just tell these guys to charge in so we might actually be able to fight back a little bit. I can't believe we took so much damage there. Oh, we took out one of those marauders. That was really lucky. That was literally just pure luck on my part right there. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Let me just say that. I have, a, I have the, probably the worst feeling about this particular battle. Because uh, of this. <laughs> oh, oh dearie me. Uh, yeah, I should not have taken this, this quest. But I might actually survive it. Maybe. Uh, it's very unlikely. Let's just say that. It is very unlikely. These horse archers are absolutely murdering us six ways from Sunday. And I don't know whether we're going to do much better than this. Uh, can I, can I, get, can I get him? No, no, can't get him. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we're actually doing okay. I think we are actually winning, but uh, a very weird victory. That is for sure. Oh, that was the horse. Did not want to kill the horse. I wanted to kill that guy, or I wanted to kill the rider if at all possible. There's another one dead. Okay. Uh, we're, we're all on the hill here. Let's tell everyone to charge again. Yes, a little bit of extra damage done. And maybe we can stop this guy. Ah, no. Oh, I can get on this horse. Ah, no, I can't. <laughs> But we are, I think we are, aren't we winning? Is, is that not us? Is that not us winning, by the way? Yeah, that is actually us winning. So, I think we should... They still have 21. Wait a minute. That is not us winning. We are going to have to retreat. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah. We lost. Wow. That was a hard quest. Yeah, that was a very, very hard quest. But thankfully, we still have all of our stuff. We still have our money. We weren't taken prisoner or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with how it went, even though we are now in a situation where I have not much in the way of troops. But that's not a big deal because you don't have to watch me recruit more troops. Ooh, there's actually a hideout from, uh, well, probably forest bandits. Yeah, I think they are probably forest bandits. I don't know whether we can actually do that because we know that forest bandits are extremely good from long range. And, uh, well, we did okay at, uh, at the other one with the desert, with the desert bandits. But uh, it might very well be a bit too much to handle for us to do. The, uh, the forest ones. I, I, I might actually say that I'm a bit more scared of the forest bandits than I am of any other bandit in the game. 
I know that sounds a bit weird, considering in uh, a certain Iron Man challenge, I was murdered by some sea raiders. Let's just say that. And uh, we will not speak of it again. But anyway, the point is, is that uh, in general, I personally feel like forest bandits are probably the most damaging, even though they are probably the easiest to murder, apart from obviously, <laughs> obviously the regular looters are quite easy to eliminate. Kiraslava, where are you? Oh, there she is. Do you see her? She's running. <laughs> She's running very fast indeed. All right, so I think I should be able to deal with these uh, with these two if they decide to attack me. So let's have a look. Who are you? Oh yeah, as, as we know. Okay, how do you know? You know, how do we know that he's not forcing you to say that and so on and so forth? He cares nothing about me, only about his reputation. Okay, so we now have 84% chance for this. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a nice success. And uh, this might be an easy, easy convince. So let's try that one. There we go. Critical success, in fact. If we had done critical success from the beginning, then we wouldn't have even needed to do the first one. But there you go. There we are. That is going to result in us being very happy indeed. And, uh, well, hopefully she will also be quite happy. So there we go. Our relation has increased. And we've completed that. We gained 1,800. And, uh, by the way, me um, getting my units back actually wasn't that difficult. Uh, because um, basically most of my units were knocked unconscious. And they were not actually killed. I think most of the deaths were from the caravan itself. So I didn't really need to worry too much about that. Anyway, I think it would probably be a good idea for us to head into wondrous, wondrous Sturgeon territory once again. And uh, maybe see if we can do, a, uh, do another little, you know, another little hideout perhaps. But uh, let's have a look here. Rival gang moving in. Associates captured by bounty hunters. Uh, I don't know. Personally, I really, really don't know about that. Uh, let's just recruit some troops real quick. As you can see, we can actually recruit Imperial veteran archers and stuff like that. And that's kind of what I'm going for right here because these archers are actually pretty good. Or at least I think they're pretty good. So we're just going to keep them around a little bit. Got some forest bandits. I'm looking for something a little bit larger. I'm also looking for the last... Uh, the, the last noble that I have to speak to. Because I actually only need one more for us to get the next stage of the main side quest. Haha. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that one. That one. Yeah, so I'm hopeful that we might actually be able to uh, do that. Oh, look at this. This is actually Clan Noretzi's right here. Is there anyone here? There's no one here. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... Whoa, okay, hello. Look at this guy. He's running around with 700 units in his army. What an insane beast. Look at that. That is the detailed statistics of this particular army. Look at what he's got. He's got like literally like imperial elites all over the all over the place. He's got Kuzate Carnate units. He's got a huge amount of actual companions. It seems like they actually have companions. I'm actually wondering whether that is in fact a campaign. Is that the way the new campaigns work in Bannerlord? Maybe it is. Maybe it very well is. Anyway, let's continue onward. And I'm going to just... I think we should actually go all the way over here. Because uh, th there's a reason why this is marked. And I'm pretty sure the reason it's marked is because there is a an NPC there that actually tells you where you might want to go. And I think that that would probably be the best idea for us to go and see. Oh, hello. Looters, I am super fast, much faster than you are now, so, uh, <laughs> yes, we're going to be doing some damage. Uh, yeah, but by the way, bear in mind, I will be attacking other parties, so for example, Forest Bandits, Sea Raiders, and so on and so forth, but this was the largest party that I've seen so far, and I kind of want to attack something that has at least 20 or so units in their army. I think that's probably going to be the best thing for us to do. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so they're coming from 130 meters away or something along those lines, 130 yards, whatever they want to call it. And we'll see if I can maybe use my new 
thrown weapons against them. I'm actually going to tell my horse archers to follow me. Okay. <laughs> I don't really want the horse archers to follow me, thanks very much, but I would like my cavalry to follow me, that's for sure. Okay, so we've got to be a bit careful here because even though they are looters, they can still pack quite a punch. Like that. Because obviously uh, that guy literally did massive amounts of damage to me. Literally just because of... Uh, using my speed against him. And uh, I'm never going to be able to use this mace on horseback, am I? Probably never, right? Let's tell my infantry to charge. Tell my cavalry to charge as well. Because this is going to be pretty easy. It's just a case of uh, getting the right... Yeah, you know what? I am never, ever going to be able to use this mace on horseback. I was just hopeful that I would be able to take a couple of them prisoner, perhaps. Oh, there we go. We actually did that guy. <laughs> Gotta say, this, uh, this mace is actually kind of a hilarious thing to use. Because, I mean, you've seen it, you know. It's really, really bad because of its reach. Oh, did you see that? The ragdoll. The ragdoll was absolutely insane. Wow. Okay. Maybe you want to see that again. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But uh, maybe I'll put something in there. That would be kind of awesome. And there is a nice victory for us. 2.5 renown, 1.7 morale, not too bad. Pretty easy. We didn't lose basically anything, and we gained 188 gold. We gained some prisoners as a result of that as well, and we also gained some blacksmithing stuff, which we are no doubt going to be using to level up our smithing a little bit more. So that's always nice. Okay, so where is the, where is the closest town? Ah, okay, this one over here. I'm actually wondering, can I buy an enterprise now? I'm not sure, because the last time that I inquired about it in one of the towns, they said that I needed 13,900. So I'm not entirely sure if I still need that or whether the, the, uh, the price might change, because the price might very well change. I don't know. Maybe it will. But uh, otherwise, we'll, we'll just uh, do a little bit of something here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of locking on this. We'll do some locking on this stuff as well. If I can stop clicking on the wrong thing, thank you. And then we will just sell all of that. Look at that, 441. That's actually pretty nice. What about these broad javelins? No, no. I'm always looking at those thrown weapons. Just stop me now. Just stop me now. That is exactly what I should not be looking at. I should be looking at armor. So let's have a look at some armor here. Ooh, ooh, ah. Oh, oh yes. They've got some nice armor right here. Okay, so wait a minute. Finally, we've actually got some good armor, but this armor, as you can see right here, is insanely expensive. And I don't really want to purchase any armor until I have some some form of passive money generation. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to continue doing these quests, continue going out and trying to struggle against all odds to try and uh, make money. And I think that that is probably going to be a little bit too ineffective so you don't have all the required materials oh yeah i actually need to get some uh hardwood i actually don't have any hardwood that is a uh, big problem i actually wonder do they have hardwood here yes they do oh they actually do fantastic okay let's buy some let's buy a little bit let's buy uh 31 of it okay i said a little bit barney what are you doing yes okay well let's just refine as much as we can then that does also reduce our <laughs> does reduce our uh, stamina a little bit, but hopefully we can... Ah, uh, never mind. I was hopeful that we could smelt all of that down, but it's all right. It's absolutely fine. All right. So, we are actually near to a hideout, but what kind of hideout is it? It's a mountain bandit hideout, and there's only five of them in there. This might actually be super fun. All right, so I'm just going to wait here for some time. And... Just going to get my HP back up, because you know me, I'm probably going to need all of it. So it seems as though it is actually true that no matter how many horses you have, as long as you have a huge amount of horses, you should be absolutely fine in regards to uh, moving fast on the world map. So that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. All right, so it's snowing and... Okay, hello. Apparently the boss wants to say hi to us immediately. Uh, should I duel this guy? 
He's a mountain bandit boss. What do we make of him? What do we make of him? Uh, is he... Yeah, he's pretty strong, isn't he? He looks He looks to be pretty strong. You've cut quite a sway through my men there. Okay, let me level with you. I did not do anything. <laughs> I just entered, and this is exactly what happened. I did not fight anyone. <laughs> I don't fight duels with brigands. All right, let's do this. Whoa, he's dead. Hellasaur with the with the kill right there. That's kind of hilarious in itself. Yeah, let's try and do some damage. Nice, nice. A little bit of extra damage right there. And that is, I believe, that. There we go. Absolutely murdered. And look at this. Kiroslava has gained a skill point in one-handed and is now 91. Yeah, by the way, Kiroslava is actually a two-handed weapon user. So I should probably get her a two-handed weapon instead. But she does so well with one-handed that I don't want to do that. But yeah, she is technically a two-handed weapon user. She has the most focus on that. So it would probably be a good idea for me to get her a two-handed of some kind. Probably a really, really good one. You know, a really good one. And I'm talking, you know, something that's worth, you know, quite a significant sum. Because as it stands right now, this is, these are her stats. If you just go over here. So this is Kiroslava right now. You can see she has five focus in two-handed. And personally, I feel like it would be super fun to watch her fight with a two-handed weapon of some kind, so I'm probably going to end up giving her one of those, maybe just leave the shield on her back, and just have her use a two-handed. So I'm not entirely sure what kind of two-handed to give her, so maybe a two-handed axe or something like that? Maybe. We'll see. All right, so this guy is the fellow that I want to speak to, because he, I believe, tells me exactly where I, where I need to go and who I need to speak to. So hello there. Uh, can you tell me Rajaya has some thoughts about it? Rajaya. Oh yeah, that isn't that um, isn't that one of the leaders of one of the empires? I think it is. So is there any way that I can see that? Is there any like notes or something? Because in Warband you would have a notes menu, and I don't believe there is actually one in Bannerlord. It doesn't look as though that's the case, but uh, yeah, anyway, Rajaya is in one of the Western, uh, not Western, one of the Empire factions, and I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be Southern. I think it might be Southern. I'm not entirely sure, though, so I'm going to have to go and uh, see if I can find her. And that might take me some time. So I guess what I'll do is end this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.